So let's look at the um, state of the cryptos. So first and foremost, we are going to start with the Ethereum Bitcoin pair. So let's make a cut. So this is 8.56. Ethereum Bitcoin pair, let's start our crypto review, guys. So if you look at the crypto pair, we had had a dominance on Bitcoin versus Ethereum, but I think I told you, I think we are working this shoulder here and this head on the trend line. And I think it's going to be the same. We are going to play a little bit this shoulder here. And eventually what's happening, look here, and it's starting a little bit going out of the, the uh, power indicator institutional zone, the red dashes, and it's pushing above also the edge rule of third. It's, if we can sustain a retracement just around here on this pair, like maybe 0.54, 0, yeah, the 0, 0, 0.054 on the pair, I think slowly but surely, we are going to see the normal cycle playing. We are going to start seeing the dominance. See, it might come back one more time here, maybe a second time, but we are seeing slowly but surely the dominance of Ethereum versus Bitcoin is, is eventually going to be played out or at least played out to the top of, of the structure trend line, the channel, which is, uh, let's say 00057. Okay, so I still think, look, I gave you that play. I still think that the Ethereum play is in place. But look, with the entire crypto sphere retracing here, and you look at Ethereum, right? You don't need to chase Ethereum here. Yeah, you came close to the 3000 because I have, by the way, I gave you that target last week, the 3500 coming. So the 3,500, we talked about the 5 to 1, 10 to 1 ratios. So what I would do on Ethereum is just use the, uh, I screwed up my rule of third, I put it in. Let's go back in the object tree. Here we go. And here we go. So on Ethereum, obviously I want to buy on blue, but you guys missed the blue. The blue is over. I gave you the blue for the past three weeks in those a call here. If you had listened to me, you would have bought 2100 on Ethereum. So this is one structure line. I tried to make it a little bit more aggressive of a structure line. And so see, they might come back and retest our rule of third edges. At 20, I think the best you can expect on Ethereum at this point is 2575, 2623. So the best you will expect on Ethereum is 2,500 retracement, 2,625. If that breaks, then we go to the next reference point, which would be crazy surprising everybody is 1,900, okay? And by the way, that would be a Christmas gift here at uh, uh, 1,900. But again, this accumulation area of 1,900, 2,500, 2,600 is very good because look, Eventually, the target is here towards 4,800 and the 3,300. So it's still reasonable as a rate of return. But you have to be careful because right now I can see on my screener that there's stocks like some miners like Mara or Riot that are flashing to be more of an interesting uh, investment opportunity than Ethereum, because look, if I go to the screener here, we go to our new probability power indicator screener, and I look at long-term investment, where Riot could bring me 395%, Square 340%, Mara 240. Even, even if I'm more conservative, I go to a two-year period on the swing trading with our edges of our patented tools here, you'll see that I can have pretty much better rate of return. Even PayPal is dead here. Riot, PayPal, you know, could be more interesting with some of the miner than, than Ethereum. And in that case, I'm buying real product, real people, you know, real company, real brand, and it's a little safer. So I still like the Ethereum, but if I could get with Ethereum at the 2600, 2500, 
to add. I already have it. I gave you display. If you go back to the previous stream, you will say, holy shit, he has been calling Ethereum for the past three weeks. Three, four weeks I've been calling Ethereum. You are a little late running after the 3,000 here, especially with the entire market pulling back. Same on Bitcoin. Where do we see Bitcoin going here? Well, Bitcoin is doing extremely well on the structure, but it's not impossible that Bitcoin retrace to the uh, uh, edges of the calculators, which would be 47 to 75 to this 44. So I repeat, let me write it down. Because then you'll be, oh man, what happened to Bitcoin in one day? Well, 47 to 75. And 44, 8. This area is not, look, look all the institutional zone. Look at the edges of the calculator here, here. Look at the edges of the calculator here. I know for sure that this 39, 44, 48 is a great area. So what's the average between 39 and 44, 38? It's 45. So a retracement of, of Bitcoin. A quick retracement, a crazy one day, three days, whatever. Boom, 45, 48. Then you are now your way here, which is the next uh, uh, target on the probability power indicator, 100% sure, which is 57,000, which goes to the next one, which goes to 69,000. So I would like it would be healthier if we pull back 44,000, 48,000 before we go to the 58,000 on Bitcoin. That would trap, that would reload the, the gun. Don't forget, look, I used to work for a small hedge fund. They want to reload the gun here. They want to do everything they can in their power to reload the gun before it goes to 57, 58. So you have 60 days or you have 55 days to the halving. They might try to do everything in their power, especially if SPX slowly but surely drip to 47.50 and reject again the 5,025 shoulder. That is very, very possible. Last but not least, look at total three on the crypto review, and then I'll go specific for 10, 15 minutes with the time that we have on trade ideas. So on the total three, right? So remember for people who don't know what total three is, every, every week we do that. It's the entire market cap of all the cryptos minus Ethereum and Bitcoin, which is essentially the Alcon market. So you are going to put a structure line like this. And I have an 82% chance of a retracement, which I showed you last week, and it has started. They trap, they trap a lot of people on the Alcon. I mean, you... You want to see the red, the, the blood here? Look, it's here. Look all the red, 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 red everywhere. So the next thing you want to do here is how far can they trap it? Ideally, they should come back to the institutional uh, power indicator, which is the red dashes and the edges here, see, of the boxes. This is your box. And it coincides. There's a triple convergence here. It coincides as well. And that's interesting. It's cool, actually. It coincides with your trend line. So everything is there. Like I have literally everything there. A retracement on the outcome to 480 billion target. And that would be an healthy retracement. And that would give you a huge buy opportunity for the next two years. If in the next few weeks, before the halving or after the halving, we go right there to that target, you have a huge opportunity, guys. Okay? But right now, you got to be careful because there's an 82% chance that we might retrace the entire Alcon market and that you get trapped into a trap here and you get screwed completely. 